Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jason. I'm the pro pilot. I've got a little uh, video that people have been asking me to do, so without uh, any delay, here we go. Got my uh, whole setup. Somebody asked me to give you a rundown of my battery setup. The car is obviously dirty, so just wanted to show you how all this stuff sits. Um, I got the mats out, and let's see if I can move the uh, car seat out of the way here. There we go. Get this stuff tucked away just a little bit better than that. And here you go. So I got my plastics that fit. And all right. So I just picked up that stuff. So it's super dusty now for just a second. But here's how I got my battery set up. As you can see, got the stock plastics in there. I've got my battery. I've got my tender wires, so that way uh, I can hook up my tender if I know I'm going to park it for a while. Don't have it hooked up right now because I've got some other stuff that I'm doing. So I've got the battery completely disconnected here with my breaker. So you just push this, the whole car disconnects, everything's uh, safe now. And um, got the main wire that goes up under here and it keeps snaking along up the left side of the vehicle it goes up my door jam through the boot comes out the boot i need to retape that comes out the boot and it comes up across the top of here which i don't know if i can get a video get that covered there we go. It's all shrouded up and everything. Got it nicely done. Nice and clean. Then it comes out here. And then I used uh, wire crimps to connect up to my fuse box. So I can get power to my fuse box. So the rest of this stuff is um, my fuel pumps. These are the fuel pump relays. And... Again, this is what the interest of the video is, is the battery. So it's a PC925, and what I've done is I through-bolted it through the uh, floor, and I used pretty big washers, rubber washer. I used a grommet through the hole, and then rubber washer with a metal washer and a pretty nice-sized bolt. I think I used M6 bolts, and then uh, uh, nylon lock washers. And what that's done is uh, it's given me lots of space right here. So I've got my tire inflator. If I ever got a flat, since I, as you can see, don't have my spare in here, why would I even run a spare with this? Um, I can't really run a spare with 19 inch wheels. So there's really no point in even getting a spare tire. So I've got my jump starter box pack, which thank God I've never had to use. Once a year, I'll go to all of my cars. Every one of my cars has one of these uh, jump start packs. And we have had to use it on my wife's minivan a couple times. Um, just from kids leaving the, flat, uh, leaving the lights on and things like that. So, there you go. Um, it's a very basic setup. I've got a ground run here. And then I've got another large ground run to the back here. And then... Um, Really, if I wanted to truly do this right, I would run a ground from the battery. Instead of going to here, I would run the ground all the way up to the block. And apparently that's how you're really supposed to do it. But uh, just figured I'd show you guys this tray. It's pretty slick. I like it. It's um, completely incognito. I got the terminals mounted directly to the battery face, um, just like my race car. And the best part is I can just drop my plastics back in and it's as if it never happened. It's, <laughs> that's my favorite part about this setup. Um, 
The other part that I really like about this is that um, in an accident, you know, with my kids riding in those seats, I really I want to keep it like as safe as I can. And with this seat coming down, it actually comes over the battery itself. So it's it's honestly it's pretty uh, pretty secure. So I really do like this setup. I really I really do. I, I like the setup a lot, um, and it's worked very well for me. Um, it hasn't left me stranded. The PC925 weighs 24 pounds. Man, my car is dirty. So it's uh, one of the deals with project cars, right? You gotta constantly clean them. Anyways, so I really like the 925. It's 24 pounds, and it's it's about two and a half of a PC680. The PC680 is pretty light, but I mean, it's got enough cranking amps of about two and a half PC680s. So I haven't ever really needed to run this car on a tender. And for me, um, that's huge because sometimes I'll be working on the race car for weeks on end and, and the attention to the black car can go by the wayside and nobody wants to do that, right? And then now, now I go to take the car out and it's got a dead battery because I left everything connected because I like having my electronics not getting reset all the time and all that. So that is what it is. I like the, I like the 925. It's got enough standby power that you can let it really, I, I do not have it on this tender, as you saw, um, and that's getting me by through this huge project, even though, yes, I have the power disconnected and all that, even if I did have the power connected, um, it's more than enough, and um, it's gonna get me to where I need to be when I'm done putting the engine in. I know that when I hook up the power, even if I had left the power on, I would have enough power to do my initial start, do my fuel pump checks, do my um, dry cranking where I sync the timing of the ignition um, before its first startup. I always do that with the engine off and I'll hook up a coil pack, uh, I'll hook up my timing gun and do a dry crank. Also the benefit of doing it that way is you're doubling up getting a um, a lot of oil into the system that wasn't going to get there uh, before your first start and that's that's super bad so um, lots of benefits to doing it this way and lots of benefits to having such a big battery I can do compression test I can do fuel pump tests I can do fuel uh, leak checks and never run low on battery I love my 925 I hope you guys enjoy this video Hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming up for you very soon. I've got some updates coming for you as well. Not in this video, so be watching out for the next one, guys. The twins are hungry and ready to go. See you guys. Uh -huh.